morning everyone so this morning we're going to discuss biodiversity and the healthy society so at the end of this lesson we are expected to determine the interrelatedness of society the environment and health explain the process of genetic engineering and discuss the ethics implications and potentials of future impacts of gmos or the genetically modified organisms from the early times when ancient philosophers of nature tried to explain all things as coming from the elements of water, fire, earth, or, or air, science sought for the common characteristics, a unifying element in all nature's many phenomena. There was a growing awareness of how all living things are related to each other. That idea is called biodiversity. So this recognition started when naturalists began to classify organisms in the natural world using the so-called taxonomy. So taxonomy, that is a system devised by Swedish scientist Carl Linnaeus, still used at the biological sciences as of today. So when we, call, we say taxonomy, it is the hierarchical uh, system of classifying and naming organisms. The system commonly used today and shows that the living organisms in the world are so diverse, they still share many traits. So, during the time in 1970, decrease in biodiversity is eminent worldwide. So, in fact, 60%, only 60%, uh, 60 of the vertebrates fell due to human causes and it is projected by this year 2020 wildlife will be declined to 67 percent so the worldwide fund nature and zoological society in london reported an annual decrease in wildlife by two percent and plus for all you know the major cause is human population so it has been doubled from 1960 Humans have uh, industrialized the natural habitat of wildlife as well as the marine life. Leaving these creatures with no place to live would eventually cause their deaths. Marco Lambertini, the general, uh, general director of WWF International, described that the disappearance of wildlife is an at an unprecedented rate. Earth might uh, enter the sixth mass extinction event according to experts. Mass extinction is described as the disappearance of species at the rate of 1,000 faster than the usual. Moreover, the disappearance of species in a certain environment causes an imbalance of the ecosystem producing more chaotic changes that harm the entire ecosystem that was reported in the inquirer.net in the year 2016 so this is but the pressing statement of people to know more about the importance of the diverse environment and how human activities can either contribute to its growth and destruction so it is timely to know that about the pressing effects of this species being extinct and that of our ecosystem being imbalanced. So ask ourselves, how can we help? Now let's continue with the biodiversity. Biodiversity and its ecosystem defined uh, as the variety of life forms in the entire earth. So it encompasses all kinds of life forms from single celled organisms down to the largest multi celled organisms. Its definition is in its structural and functional perspective and not as an individual species. The variability among living organisms from all sources, including terrestrial, marine, and other aquatic ecosystems, and the ecological complexes of which they are part. This includes diversity within species, between species and of the ecosystem. Biodiversity is the source of essential goods and ecological services that constitute to the source of life and for all, it has a direct consumptive value in food, agriculture, medicine, 
and in industry. That is according to Pelagio Global in 2009. So understanding biodiversity within the concept of ecosystem needs a thorough study on the relationship of biotic, the living organism, and the abiotic, the non-living organism. Interdisciplinary approach is needed to study the ecosystem. Let us just remember that biodiversity plays a major role in this natural dynamics. Let's say, for example, a large number of golden snail. Have you seen a golden snail? In a certain area of a rice field can help predict the low production of rice harvest since eggs of the golden snails are considered best of the rice plants. On a positive view, the larger the number of different species in a certain area can be a predictor of sustainable life in that area. Sustainability of the ecosystem ensures better survival rate against any natural disaster. So therefore, we as humans inhabitants of the ecosystem must preserve and conserve the biodiversity of all creatures. Now, let's find out what are the threats to biodiversity. There are major threats to biodiversity that we are identify United Nations Environment Programs. These are the following. First, habitat loss and destruction. So, major contributing factor is the inhabitation of human beings and the use of land for economic grains. Huh? Number two is the alteration in ecosystem composition. Alteration and sudden change either within species group or within the environment could begin to change the entire ecosystem. Alteration in ecosystem are critical factor contributing to the species and habitat loss. So let us not forget that. Overexploitation. If we have overexploitation among humans, we also have this overexploitation uh, among biodiversity. So that means overexploitation, meaning overhunting, overfishing, overcollecting of species that can quickly lead to its decline. Changing consumption patterns of human is often cited as the key reason for these unsustainable exploitations of natural resources. Fourth is pollution and contamination. Biological system respond slowly to the changes in their surrounding environment. Pollution and contamination cause irreversible damage to species and varieties. Global climate change, both climate Variety and climate change cause biodiversity loss. Species and population may be lost permanently if they are not provided with enough time to adapt to the changing climatic conditions. Now, here comes the, the war, uh, here comes the biotechnology. The biotechnology uses biological system living organism or the derivatives thereof to make more modified products or processes for a specific use. The Biodiversity International has released the module titled Law and Policy of Relevance to the Management of Plant Genetics in the 2005, which aims to help professionals in managing conserving and the using plant genetic resources for food and agriculture. So there's three different definitions as being cited in this presentation. So that is number one. Number two, genetic engineering is a technique that allows the genes and the DNA to be transferred from one source to another. And the last one, modern biotechnology gives scientists molecular tools for obtaining a better understanding of the structure and function of genes in living organisms. So modern technology paves way the new development of food and agriculture. Particularly, it aims to develop new processes or precision tools and diagnostics 
speed up breathing gains and efficiency, develop pest and disease resistant crops, combat salinity, drought and problems of agriculture. It also enhances the natural nat nutritional sorry quality of food, increase the crop varieties and choice, reduce inputs and production cost and increase profits so those are the effect of using this mod modern biotechnology and uh, let us find out the nutritional impact of biodiversity according to the world health organization biodiversity is a vital element of human beings nutrition because its influence to food production biodiversity is a major factor that contributes to sustainable food productions for human beings no? a society for a population must have access to sufficient variety of nutritious food and its determinant for their health and human beings health and biology diversity almost all living organisms are dependent to environment to live and reproduce so the basic living of organisms such as air water food and habitat are provided by its environment the evolutions of human beings was due to the improved access of the basic needs advances in agriculture sanitation water treatment hygiene and others had far greater impact to human health than medical technology so lack of basic necessities is a significant cause of human mortality so the interrelation between the human health biological diversity is considered and complex with the current biodiversity loss unprecedented rates of delicate balance between human health and biological diversity is at risk now let us continue with the environmental related illnesses so some human illness that are found to be related with its uh, environment uh, include parkinson's disease heart disease cancer chronic uh, obstructive pulmonary disease asthma diabetes obesity uh, occupational injuries dysentery arthritis malaria and depression so by contrast activities that promote health and extend human life could have adverse environmental effects so for example food production causes environmental damage from pesticides and fertilizers soil salinization waste product by livestock carbon emissions from food manufacturing and transportation deforestation in overfishing healthcare facilities ha also have adverse environmental impacts hospital use large quantities of electricity and fossil fuels and produce medical waste to prevent some diseases it may be necessary to alter the environment Interestingly, according to experts, climate change could also have a serious impact on human health and could uh, deteriorate farming system and reduce nutrients in some foods. In case of biodiversity increased resilience, thus helping uh, ad adjust to new environmental conditions, safeguarding of uh, coral reefs, for instance, essential to reduce the risk of floods this extraordinary system could reduce wave energy by 97 percent thus protecting over 100 million people all over the world so no issue demands greater care in balancing the benefits and risks than global warming that is why in addition to this various public health strategies fit to the rights of individual against the good of society such as the mandatory treatment vaccination diagnostic testing isolation and quarantine and disease surveillance the owner of the of this uh, opponents of this however opponents of this um, human rights issues can also come up 
with research on environmental health that involves human subjects. For such research to be ethical, human subjects must give consent and great care must be taken to ensure that under they that they understand and they can opt out of the project research. Since in 1990, some pesticides companies have tested their products on human subjects to gather data to submit to the government for regulatory purposes. Some commentators charge the experiments as unethical because uh, they place people at acceptably high risk without a clear benefits to society. With this in mind, the mitigating plan and workable plan of actions should be studied in order not to compromise biodiversity while at the same time promote good health among the society. Let us not forget, we must begin to give natural capital stock that produces their services adequate weight in the decision-making processes. Otherwise, current and continued future human welfare may drastically suffer. Many ecosystem services are literally irreplaceable. We do not and probably cannot ever evaluate such services adequately, but we can value the ecosystems of the world appropriately. So, take our action now. So the next one, the next topic will be the GMO, so the genetically modified uh, organism on the next video.